said five other grams? Yeah, five other grams. Okay. And have, do you speak to your um, your daughter and son on a real grammar basis? But every now and then they call and talk to them. Try to talk to them regularly. So are they coming to North Carolina for the holidays? No, I don't think so. Because they don't have no whole dollar period out. So they spend the holidays there. I would love to have them here, but he's working three jobs, and so they don't have no whole lot of time off. What about your daughter? Well, she'll be off doing the holidays, but I don't think she want to drive that far. I don't know this far. So I know you, you mentioned that um, a few of your grands are uh, graduated from high school, so what, what are they doing? Well, three of them have graduated from high school. But I think they're doing now, they're working, they're not going to school right now, they're just working. So I know you have one of your grands that's getting ready to graduate in another year or so, so do you know what his plans are as far as, you know, well, school goes? The way he's saying he's going to go to college, uh, into band, uh, marching uh, to the art. And I drawing a lot, so he's going to use that, his drawing, as part of his field. I don't know the technical word that they use for drawing, but he likes to draw. Um, I think at one time when he was in here, he was talking about computer animation. Do you know anything about computers? Mm, no, not a lot. I don't do a lot with computers except for looking up stuff. I don't, you know, like, I really like the modern teenagers. They know everything about computers. I'm not that into computers that much. So how do you feel about the 21st century as far as everything going digital and, and, uh, animation and, and, you know, um, just everything is, it seems to, like, seem to be changing, you know, with the time and stuff. It's like now you have to, um, call your doctor and they have this animation, how do you feel about that? I guess it's something that if it's something that I have to get into, I guess I, I have to do the way they do it. But all of this computer stuff, everything is automated and you call the doctor's office, you get automated before you talk to a live person, which I don't care that much for that, but I guess as to this day, it's another day in time from when I was growing up. So you'd rather talk to a live person on, on the telephone? Yes, I'd like to talk to a live person instead of a, a automated or whatever you call it. Every time you call, you have to you get an automated person before you get a live person. I prefer talking to a live person to explain my, what's going on. Even they have automated calling you about doctor's appointment. You know, you're not a live person calling you about that. It's automated. So how do you feel like online shopping? Well, I don't, I don't do it. You'd okay. rather go into the stores and, and shop. But what if it comes to where you, you don't have to leave your house and and you, you know and they and you have to um, online shopping. But I still, I would rather go in and see what I'm looking at and get to get what I want instead of going online because by the time you get stuff, you end up sending it back because it's not what you wanted. True. Let's get back to your family. So you have any brothers or sisters? 
I had one brother, he deceased a couple of years ago. And how do you feel about that? It hurts, I think about it every now and then, but it's only the two of us. But I'm getting, I'm growing with it now that he's gone, he's not coming back. I have friends that somebody that I can talk to. So, are you, do you do things like as far as like go to the movies or stuff like that with your friends, you know? Uh, no, or, uh, I don't go to the movies. I don't do much of anything except for go get groceries and go to church. That's the biggest thing is to go to church. So, what other activities do you have, you know, as far as besides? going to the grocery store or going to church. I mean, wouldn't you like to have like like other activities like you know, um, like um, like I remember you mentioned that your doctor was saying that you need to get out and, and walk, you know, and stuff like that, you know. How do you feel about that? Yeah, thought about it, but I haven't really done it. Yeah, it's something, you know, I guess I could do. Well, maybe 20 minutes or around the block or something like that, but I haven't, I just keep saying I'm going to um, start, but I guess the only reason to do it is to start doing it and do it. I know, um, I've been reading, you know, like there's a lot of activities downtown, you know, um, like with the art, art walk and stuff like that, you know, are you into for the art museums and, and you know, and just, just get in the culture? No, I'm not into that. I mean, I mentioned, you mentioned that your sons are into art, you know, you don't think that, you know, you know, them going, you know, going down to the museums and seeing that, you know, and, and, and share that with them? Do you think they would enjoy that? I'm pretty sure they would enjoy it. But you're not up to going to, you know, looking at art museums or looking at art or even walking downtown. I hadn't even thought that before. And so I was going downtown to the art museum or something like that. Like I say, maybe it's something that I should think about doing. Before we mention, you know, about the holidays. Um, so, what do you have, you know, um, you know, like Thanksgiving coming up and stuff, and you know, um, the holidays are coming up. I guess I haven't really thought a whole lot about that. But I guess I need to. Be here before I know it. It's Thanksgiving and then right after that is Christmas. Those holidays and stuff like that, I don't get into the way I used to. Maybe because, you know, the, I guess the society or whatever, they're just bringing it into early, you know, early each year and stuff like that. But I mean, you know, like, I mean, but in order to make it special, you know, you should, you know, do something special, like something out of the ordinary, you know, not out of the ordinary, but make it seem special so it won't be like another day or anything you know, like that. Yes, I thought about that. You're right. They do bring it in. They start celebrating Christmas and putting up Christmas decorations long before. Halloween, then after Halloween, then Thanksgiving, but yet still you see Christmas decoration and uh, ornaments and all of that is already out in the stores. You don't, it's not exciting anymore the, the way I know it's a, as I said before, it's a different day and time and everything is changing. But I feel like people 
start some of the holidays, they start celebrating too early. So when they get here, it doesn't seem like a holiday. It just seems like it's just another day. And how do you feel about, about the changes? I don't, there's nothing I can do about it because that's the way life is in general. But I don't, you know, really like the way they've changed it. So, but because it's, like I say, when it gets here, it's just like it's just another day. So how do your grandsons feel about the holidays, you know? Well, I haven't heard them say a whole lot about them. They don't do a lot of talking um, about holidays and stuff. They just, you know, do they well, want to be drawing and doing things and the iPods and computers and stuff like that. So I haven't heard them sit down and really talk about the holidays. So I don't really know how they really feel. I know um, back, way back um, you mentioned that one of your sons is going to have surgery um, over the holidays. Yes. The, you know, my youngest grandson is going to have a year of surgery. So. And he's not going to go up to that because I guess he's doing his holiday, but it's something that has to be done. So how do, how do you feel about him having surgery? Well, I just pray that he's in know that he's in God's hand and, you know, God is watching over him. So it's something that has to be done and hoping that it'll prepare the damage that's already done. So he'll be able to hear like he's supposed to. Like I say, he's in God's hand. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Nixon. I hope you have a good day.